people need to see how <clears throat> we're being slowly but being poisoned by so many of the products that are out there on the uh, so many products that are out there in the market with with preservatives, sulfates, and all sorts of uh, artificial preservatives. Hey, from the moment you were born, you ate three meals, so you sit down at the table 21 times in a week. Time is uh, so in a year, I believe you sat down and had 1,040 meals. Times that by how old you are. Let's suppose that every morsel of food that ever went into you was perfect, which it wasn't, but let's suppose that. The moment food passes the point of digestion, it becomes waste, dirt, debris. If residues, just residues of that waste, poison, dirt, or debris remained in your body, in your bowels, the blood system redigests that, and that creates a toxicity which can cause arthritis, which can cause gout, which can cause all sorts of illnesses and diseases. So if that's the case through the exam, then we need to cleanse uh, the bowels or we need to cleanse the kidney. And of course, those are therapies that we do here at the Institute. This seems to be the biggest problem uh, with the people of the world today because there's more as I like to say, junk food available, and quick food, and prepared foods, which have all sorts of chemicals in them. And most of the food in America now is genetically engineered. And again, this is another issue. And if you look at the high level of mercury in fish, especially swordfish or tuna fish, Look at asthma, look at children with asthma, and you take dairy away from, their bodies begin to change. The condition begins to change. I mean, you look at women who, who are either obese or have hormonal imbalances. And most of the hormonal imbalances that are in most women, it's not because they, they have a diseased organ, it's that their bodies have been abused by sugars and starches, which means that if you have an abundance of sugars and starches in your body, uh, the pancreas isn't functioning correctly, and consequently, uh, the wisdom in the body knows that the adrenal gland isn't functioning correctly, and now the adrenal gl gland goes through an adrenal exhaustion, uh, so there's a fatigue, and if you're tired and you need to do a job, you use your adrenals even more, or if you're under stress, you use your adrenals. So now you develop an adrenal exhaustion. And if in the female, a hormonal system is dependent upon physical energy. Physical energy is good, hormones function correctly. Physical energy is down, hormones can't function. So lots of times with women who can't conceive or women who are having hormonal imbalances, it's strictly because of an adrenal exhaustion. And, and again, we have obesity in America at extreme levels, both in adults and in children. And again, that's because of the white breads, the cakes, the candies, the sodas. All of these foods are causing sickness in America. So, so much is based upon all the faulty foods that are out there and people looking for a quick way to fill themselves up.